Hey everybody, one of the episode of Spearheads. I'm back with Mike. Hey. And you have finished painting up your Spearheads launch day spearhead. You are person yeah. number two. Adam got in first with the ogres. Yep. And you finished up your Nurgle. The, yeah. What are they bleak, called again? The bleak host. The bleak host. Yes. I feel like I don't think of them as bleak. They're jolly. No, they're, they're so, a jolly host. Yeah. They're a host of Jolly Lee Nurgle. I think mine are the rambunctious host. They're the ra <laughs> the more rambunctious <laughs> host. And this will be the first time on Spirits we've had the Nurgle on. Um, I'm playing as Sylvaneth today. We're going to go all growing, like, you know, like it's a it's a classic matchup, basically. In Garan, there's actually a huge war happening between the forces of the Sylvaneth of Ilariel and Nurgle. So this is going to be a perfect situation for us to throw some spirits down. We'll show you the teams. Uh, we'll show you the uh, the table setup. We'll get some. All right. So here is Mike's beautifully painted Nurgle army, uh, and this is the Nurgle spearhead, which is I think 10, 15, 16, 17. It's, it's a pretty high model count for what it is, like seventeen models, including yeah. the boss. Yes. Eighteen with the boss. Sorry. Uh, yeah, eighteen with the boss. Uh, the little guy on his uh, the little. Nurgling doesn't count. But no, I have to paint him up separate. He doesn't get to just ride on a base. I would use him as like your. I'm controlling this objective marker. I paint like three more of them and have Nurglings be your objective control I markers. I think that's super it. cool. Yeah, that's a smart idea. They're fun. Um, and you did these kind of comic book style. Yep. Yeah. They're. Uh, I did them the comic book style. Uh, I like doing. I like doing that a lot. Um, the black ink just just makes such a difference. And then I uh, I did the bases in the to match the Akshi board. Uh, with the with a little bit of lava flow and stuff. I love just, that. Just because I felt like the greenish models would melt into a base. And they was, pop off in this way, yeah. yeah. And there's no texturing on that. You just used the actual base and then painted this on. Just just painted it on. Yeah. yeah. The one thing is the Mike's rubber duck, which you do have a lava duck. Yes, yes, there is a lava duck. <laughs> it's in the screen, I can see it, yeah. Guys. yeah. <laughs> one of your, one of your, your Blight <laughs> Kings has the, uh, the lava duck. Um, beautifully painted. So I'm playing with my Sylvaneth today. These are, uh, I believe, airbrushed old Cheridon granite. So I've, the, the way I painted these is lost to time almost now as the original uh, like foundation paint shared on granite no longer exists they say storm vermin fur is roughly the same color but i don't believe them um and then I airbrushed this up through, I believe, uh, snot green, and then mixing some snot green with some, uh, I think, screaming skull is what it's called now. Uh, and that was my basic airbrushing. A little bit of like purples and reds airbrushed in just for some contrast and highlights. And my bases are just done with playground sand and old bark. So <laughs> that's that's how we did these. These are my fall themed um, Sylvaneth. And this is the whole of the Sylvaneth uh, spearhead. Um, of course, it's got the tree revenants who have reinforcement. I don't think anything in your entire army has reinforcement, does it? Because you have a turn three arrival yeah, yeah. but my uh, my tree revenants have reinforcement i got my current hunters with bows my branch witch and my tree lord so we're now going to get set up um and as you know what now because I, I was gonna say we should do it in the garan side because that's like historically where the war is happening but because you have these beautiful actually bases i feel like we should just roll off now yeah, and let's... do this attack room defender style so let's see who attack room defender is uh don't do that you're supposed to actually win the roll okay let's uh <laughs> There, I won the roll. <laughs> Six? I mean, you probably did. There we go. To a four? Yeah, okay. You win the roll this time. So the winner chooses who's the attacker and defender. The attacker picks their regiment ability and enhancement first. Yeah, and defender picks the board. So yeah. I'll be the defender. So okay. That I can, uh... Then I will pick my regiment ability and my, um, my enhancement. So for regimental ability, um, I'm going to do the... Uh, walkers of the Hidden Paths. So pick a friendly unit within three of any train feature, not in combat, remove them from battlefield. It's my, it's my movement phase runaway, as opposed to my end of the fight phase runaway. Um, as my first one, and then for my enhancement, we're gonna go with the, the healing, regrowth. Uh, I like to keep my, um, my Tree Lord alive. So having a five plus spell I can do in my hero phase to heal D6 on a target is super sweet. So Branch Witch getting regrowth, and the whole regiment getting um, the Strike and Fate ability, the Walkers of the Hidden Paths. All right, so what about for you? Uh, I'm going to go with the Locus of Fecundity. That sounds pretty locusty. Which is, I get to pick a friendly unit and heal D3 in my hero phase. Okay. Um, useful for the chunky models that I got. Sure is. And I think we'll go... You don't do a lot of spike damage, so I'm going to go Summoner of Plague Bearers yep. as my... So at the end of any turn, I can return one slain model to a Plague Bearer unit within 14 of my general. Perfect. Um, and you only start with one, right? So it's it's good to keep the initial unit on the table. Yeah, and and there are some armies that I would never that I play against that I would never expect a unit to be damaged and not dead. No, yeah, it's true. Uh, <laughs> but I think 
these guys will probably tank a turn and then I'll actually get models back. We'll 100%. See. Okay, cool. So then um, we have to go into Defender Choose Axier Grand. So do you want to use your, I think we should see what your bases look like, but that's, it's your choice. Yeah. How it, do you want to do this? I, I, I want, I want the, uh, the Axie side anyway. Right, Grand let's plays the too much to your strengths. I just need to, I just need to make sure that I get the, the, the objectives right so that people can see them right straight up and down again. There we go. I think I got this correct. All right. Uh, and let's make sure this is lined up so you guys can see it properly. There we go. Parfait. Um, and then you place your terrain first, I believe. Start with the defender. So you get one large, one small. Yeah. And you get to I place them down we'll, wherever we'll play, you like. We'll play the length. And we're going to do... Three from an edge and three from enemy territory. Yeah. And we're on lengthwise. Not within six of each other. Not within six. Not... Uh... Six, three, you know what, let's give some cover to this. Sounds good, because we're going lengthwise. All right, I'm gonna go, I think like this. Looks good, not within three. Oh, I might not be able to, to angle it. Probably have to angle it. I hate having symmetrical terrain so much that I can't stand <laughs> not to place it in weird spots compared to you. Uh, and then this one, I think, has to be outside of six. So we're gonna go like meow and like meow. I think we're good. All right, sweet. Our train is placed. Uh, so now we are on to deployment, and it starts with the uh, attacker. Setting up their entire army first, follow the defender. So I got to go my whole army um, within front of territory and more than six from enemy territory. Um, and spreading out the train was important for me, too, because a lot of my abilities, uh, as you'll hear in our little, like, um, Spearheads for Dummies beginner program that we're doing, which will tell you the sort of, like, the rules for these guys, it's going to be um, pretty key that I can run around this stuff. So I got to be deployed outside of six of your territory. So we're going to go with you first, I believe. Which is the branch witch. The tree lord is going to hang over here. Outside of six again. We're going to go with team bagpipes. Uh, and they, I think, are just going to garrison the boss. Because I don't want... Ah, you know what? I don't want you to die. I'm going to put you back slightly. And you can garrison over here. And then we'll have the hunters just... Uh, I want your fire... You, they gain a 6 plus board when they're on an objective. So I need to keep them on one. And we'll put them over there. I think that's as good as we're gonna get. All right, so it is over to you for deployment. Yeah, well, I don't want a whole lot to do with anything going on on this side. <laughs> now, I can relocate very fast. But I do want this objective anyway. Okay. So I'm gonna have to put some Plague Bearers there. Got it. Although they like to be near, you know, Plague Bearers are only useful at all if they're next to the boss, and I'm not putting the boss over there. Nope. Probably so, wise. So we'll put the Plague Bearers here. We'll put the boss with them. We'll put big bloats behind this wall. Yeah, Although he we'll flies, get one him, so yeah. it won't matter. It's true. Uh, it does mean I can see him over top of it, though, because yeah, he flies. Exactly. Uh, the, yeah. Yeah. So, so line of sight won't the be wall is there. the same as yeah. out in the open for it's him. It's true. He'll get the cover bonus. He'll get cover save bonus, but he won't get the. Um, yeah. He won't get any kind of what call it. Any kind of line of sight being blocked because his wings are buzzing too hard. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're buzzing wicked hard. They're buzzing wicked hard. And the Blight King's holding it down on this flank. Oh, man, okay. Can't just, can't just give up the objective is the problem. You Blight Kings of New Hampshire. Uh, and we have our Akshi Twist deck, which I'm going to shuffle right now. And also put down. And you get to pick who goes first. I do get to pick who goes first because I am the attacker. Uh, I get to choose who goes first or second in this round, which I have to do before we pick the twist. I'm going to choose for you to go first because you don't have any guns. Uh, and that just seems like the right way to go. So then it's twist uh, for round one, and we will be back uh, after that, uh, after a, a small slate card. <laughs> All right, getting into first round, uh, we need to flip our twist, which means seeing what the turn round thing's gonna be. We've got Reclaim Akshi. The underdog, there isn't one, um, picks an objective on the battlefield, uh, sorry, two objectives on the battlefield, so we should pick one because there isn't one. 
Each player has an extra VP at the end of the turn uh, for each of these they control. So we both get to pick one of the objectives on the table, mark a little coin, and it's worth an extra point. Well, well, Martha. I think I think I'll hold on to this one. Mm, that one looks pretty key. All right, uh, I'm gonna hold this one over here. Yep, that seems likely. It seems like the ones that we're gonna hold. So it's gonna be this one and this one over here will be held this round. Okay. Uh, it's the Bayamat one, and I believe that's the not the Dracolith. I don't know the names of these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, and only three of them even got names. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. <laughs> so let's uh, let's throw. It. Actually, no, they're all named in the book. I'm pretty sure. Oh, the okay. book. Yeah. Let's uh, deal out some battles cards. Uh, start the first battle round. We draw three. One, two, three. And I'm gonna show mine to the. I'm gonna show mine to the little like funzy camera, so you guys can see what I got. Whoop, 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 whoop. I think instead of the. Not be blown up by the lights. There we go. It came into focus. You guys can see what I got for my cards. <laughs> and then I'll switch over to Mike so he can show you guys too. I'm gonna yeah, probably hold him there for a second. This, this little one here. Yeah, yeah. Hold him right there, and they'll be able to see them. They'll like beam in. There we go. And now we can show our hands so everybody knows what we're playing with. Wow, so fancy. Wow. All right. Uh, so it is you going first, sir. In the first battle round, we're at the start of turn phase. Your choice. Yeah. Let's see here. And then hero phase, obviously. Uh, I don't think there's anyone slain, so your hero phase ability from your regiment does not come back. Doesn't, not, not gonna, not gonna trigger, won't trigger this time. Nope. Yep. Uh, I just gotta read these real quick. Uh, okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's do it. So, I have got, keep counting, I'm watching you. Always watching. Always watching you, Wazowski. <laughs> so this is a uh, hero phase ability for your boss. Uh, for my spoil pox scrivener. Yes. Um, so I can either add one to their save rolls, to, for the plague bearers specifically. Uh, I can add one to their uh, save rolls, or I can add one to their attack characteristic. Mm, gotcha. Um, I don't. I would, I would 100% always go attack characteristic. Yeah, because they do crit mortal, so that's pretty, that's pretty key. But, but also, I don't think they're going to get in a fight this turn. They might. They move five charge if you want to. Move, move four. Oh, move four, sorry, charge. They can, so, uh, I, and, and your bug can take the middle objective to score points, so there's yeah. not a lot of point in doing that either. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I think, uh, I think I'm going to just give them the save this okay. one round. So he's always watching them for a plus one to their save. And then we're going to go to, that's it, so movement phase. Okay. Uh, yeah, as predicted, we're going to send the big guy buzzing up over here. Go touch, a, go touch a button. Go touch a button. That feels appropriate. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if we can pin these guys down a little bit. Get I some plague bears moving. Yeah, I don't need to stay on this objective. We do claim them at the start of the game, so might as well. And we should actually mark that, actually. So we have our yep. little coins here. The Chaos Star, obviously, will be yours. So Chaos Star. Chaos Star, from your start turn, claim ones. The orb will be mine. And the central one will flip at the end of the turn to you. As long as you're still standing there, I guess. I was going to say. As long as, I'm still as, long as you don't pull any turn one counter charges with a tree lord across the board. I mean, I've been known to, but I've, not today. I've seen that happen. Not today. Not slingshotting them that hard. All right, so everyone's advanced. Uh, so those guys are going up. These guys are going to go... Phase. Well, these guys are going to move. Oh, gonna Why not? Be short kings. What are they... What, All right, short kings. What are do they this. doing if they're not in combat is the problem. That's also true. They're not exactly... I mean, you've, you've taken the objective. You might as well be away from it now. Yeah. Although you get all your redeploy shenanigans to I do shenanigan for doing that. I do shenanigan, yes. Uh, okay, that is all of my movement phase. Do you have anything to do in the movement phase? I don't have any counter moves or movement phase stuff to do, so we're into the shooting phase. We're on to the shooting phase. You could sneeze if you're within seven. Uh, yeah, I am not. Okay. I'm willing to, willing sneeze, to bet that that's not seven. Sneeze yeah. on my own guys. <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, charges? Yeah, let's let's see if I can do a long bomb charge with oh, these guys. Oh, he's going for it. it'll be a okay. lot of fun if I can. I mean, they're going to try and get into my, uh, I guess, Kronothi. You might, you might yeah. roll far. If you're on eight, you'll get there. Yeah. Or seven three, you'll get there. Seven will do it? Well, then I'm definitely going to try it. Hi, Ta. That's, that's an 11. 11. That's all day. That's, that's going to do it. So, might as well charge this guy yet. charge long ways so he can get there i just want to stay outside of three of this tree lord hell yeah i don't super want to bring him in i wouldn't either if i was you 
but we can all get within three inch combat range. Sure can. Easy peasy. So we'll do that. And this guy can be towing the zone. There we go. To the zone, to the zone. Three on the zone, just in case it goes super well and I get to st snipe that one from you. That'll be. Well, you've you've gone across the table to me, which is a be really nice, nice long charge. Yep. Yeah, let's see these guys. An eight will do it. And then I'll feel really stupid for not giving them more attacks. <laughs> um, is there any reason not to? That's the question here. I don't know. I don't think I don't so. Know. I don't think there's a I good reason not to. Okay. All right, let's give it a go. Do it. Charging. No, seven doesn't do it. No charge for you. If you're not in shooty range, you're probably not in charge range. Probably not. All right. But sometimes you roll an 11. Sometimes you do. All right. Uh, we're gonna move on to the, the combat phase, unless you have anything to do in the charge phase. I don't have anything to do in the charge phase, no, so we're into the combat phase. Okay, uh, let's see. My ability is end of any turn. Okay. So I don't have any non-fight abilities in the combat phase. Okay. Uh, do you? I don't have any that I'm going to be declaring right now, because mine are all passive. Okay. So my passive, I'm holding an objective, so my current the owners have a six plus ward save. Yes. Uh, what I have is a whole bunch of attacks. You do have many attacks. So yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and select this unit to attack. Okay. Uh, it might not shock you to learn. Being being that you're in combat and being not pile into any closer than you have to. Not pile in any closer <laughs> than I have to. Be so now, what's your objective control? It's only one on them, isn't it? Uh, it is only one yeah, on so them. So there's no way for you to take this back from me because the tree by himself, I think, does it. Yeah, he uh, is he's... five. Yeah, okay. So, so as long as one of these Colonel Hunters survives, uh, and would... all of your guys would just tie me and not take it away. Yeah, and I would have to pile into him to even have a chance to get Correct. all five of them yeah. in range. So, although this guy could swing around this way, just and pile in for sure. Cement where I'm at in my pile in. Go for here. it. Why not? All right, so let's get our twenty attacks going. Okay. Uh, here's the first three guys. It's gonna be so many attacks. Hitting on? Uh, I am hitting on threes, wounding on threes. Indeed you are. Rend one, damage one. Uh, you're targeting the attack. I am going to fight to the last. Um, a friendly unit targeted by an attack ability. I have a five plus ward save until the end of this combat phase. Okay. I'm gonna burn one of my tactics cards to make sure that this unit does not die. All right, so we are, this is the first half of the attacks. Threes and threes. Threes to hit. So taking away six hits. Six and hits. Then, oh wait, oh. contagion point. You got oh, a six yeah, one, there. One contagion point. So mark that. With your D sixteen. <laughs> oh yes, that's what that one's for. <laughs> yeah. Because it's green. You max it at seven anyway. Yeah. True. Uh, okay, here's second the second roll. half of the attacks. Uh, you get two more contagion points. Two more contagion points. And so nine more three. hits. So that's fifteen total. Fifteen total. All right. And you have fifteen dice, so conveniently just roll those dice. And we're on threes. Uh oh. Yeah, oh, so many twos. It usually falls apart for me. <laughs> uh, that's still eight. That's not bad. Eight's not terrible. And what's your rend? That's not bad. Uh, rend is one. Okay, so with a rend of one, my five plus save becomes a six plus save, I believe. Nope, four plus save becomes a five plus save. So twin linked five pluses here. Fives and fives because of my ward save. So I'm going to save four with the first roll. That's pretty good. And then I'm going to roll again because my ward. And save one more, so I'll take three damage on one of these guys. They have five wounds each. So two remain. And I get to stab you back, because I get to pick you to fight. So here's what I'm going to do, because I'm cagey, and this guy just has to end closer to you. I want to see if I can get this the way I want it to be. So he's going to pile in, and he's going to pile in like that. So he is closer to you. He's going to pile in like this. And he's going to pile in like this. And that way we can get ourselves within three of this building. Because that's the important thing here. Uh, and then we are going to start stabbing. And we have three attacks each. Threes and threes, one damage. Uh, so it's going to be nine attacks total. They're not that stabby, but they're stabby enough. And all those ones go away. And then threes again. Uh, one, two, three. Just regular saves, no rends. Three plus. I uh, failed Oof. two. All right, so two wounds. I think they have four wounds each, don't they? Uh, they are three. All right, so one remaining. So now, end of the combat phase, you get to do your shield ability because you get to pick first. Yeah, so I'm going to, so that's end of turn. 
Oh, it's end of turn? So yep. mine's uh, also end of turn. So yours okay. trigger first. So so I'll use my end of turn <laughs> abilities. I'm going to strike we'll and fade and get the hell out of here. Yeah, that seems fair. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to do my Nurgle's Embrace. I'm just going to spend these uh, these points as well. Go for it, yeah. Okay, so first, first I'll do Relentless Attackers. Okay. Uh, where I get to roll five dice for my five friends here. Yep, if you roll higher than my wound stat, which is, or my health stat, which is five, so you have to roll six here to do any mortal wounds to me. They're fives? Okay. Yeah, so health I need, five. need to roll sixes to do a mortal wound, but I don't have any more. If you get two of my die, which is important, I got one. Got one. So I got another one win left on that guy. And then I'm going to do my lovely. So I think we go back and forth. Uh, when you choose abilities, because act active player does all theirs. Oh, then yeah, reactive the player does all theirs. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, so I it was trade. I am gonna do Nurgle's embrace. I mean, why wouldn't you at this point? I've got my three pestilence Sixes? points, uh, four pluses for immortal wound here. Okay, so you're back. Oh, I got my five plus words still. Uh, is that until the end of the turn or the end of the phase? Ooh. Uh, just that phase. No, so okay. you keep going. Yeah, and we're in the end of the phase. It's a new one. I got none of those. Okay, I get a six plus so word though because I am still on an objective actually. No, I didn't yeah. get that though. Okay, so I didn't get any of those. I couldn't finish one off. Uh, and then mm. I will heal D3 to a unit. Because that is, oh no, that's my hero, that's that's your hero, hero phase. phase. That's, that's your not an yeah. end of turn one. Got so it. you go ahead. All right, so now my end of turn stuff, I'm going to strike in fades because I'm within three of a train feature. So I'm going to roll a die on a two plus. I can remove them from the battlefield. I can and set them up wholly within... Uh, sorry, that each model is in the units within three of any train features and more than six from the enemy. So basically, we're just going to go backwards slightly. Uh, I'm going to be outside of six of this guy, too. We're going to go back here and be like, no. <laughs> that, was, that was not what we wanted. Did not like? Did not like. Uh, I also want to be inside regrowth range. Oh, it's 18 invisible. Oh, no, I'll be fine over there. So we're going to go back to there. Uh, see, it still has a wound on it. Uh, but we're both still five on the button, so that doesn't change. That doesn't change. And that's, um, sorry, that's the end of turn phase. Yep. And I will be doing a score on... So you're going to hold one. Well, so this one oh, goes to you yeah. now. Yeah, so this one goes to me. Yeah. So I'll hold, get three points for... Hold one, hold two, hold more. Yeah, one, two more, and I have got... Uh, extra one for the twist, because you're going to hold this one back here for four. Right. For four. Uh, let's see, this is, nope, uh, we're going to do, there it is, take the flanks, I've got a unit within three inches of each short battlefield edge. Nice. That was hard. Uh, nope, yeah, one for sure. Uh, <laughs> five. <laughs> and these other two I'm going to hold off on to, let's see, do not. So your total yeah. score is going to go to five. My total score is going to go to five for the okay. round. Not too shabby. All right. Well, I hated all of that. Um, and now we're going to have to do the thing where we do the kill. Uh, so we're going to do the kill. So it is my one. Uh, we are into the start turn phase and then hero phase. So hero phase first. I'm going to attempt to regrowth this little this little unit of, of little, little branchy mans. Yep. Um, because I would like them to get their wounds back. So regrowth is on a five plus. Uh, heal D6 to the target. Is it roll two dice? Uh, I believe so. It's a cast, isn't it? Pick a visible unit, and hold it in target, and make a cast and roll two d6. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So a lot five of, plus. A, a lot of the spell like abilities in Spearhead are working. Yeah, 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 yeah. This one's on two d6. Uh, and I heal six wounds, so they go back to fully healed. Hooray! I did nothing! <laughs> um, I mean, you stab the tree, and then the tree grew back. So then we're into more hero phase abilities. Uh, I'm going to Virtuous Harmony. Uh, Oh, no, I can't do that one because no one's dead now and I healed. Uh, so that's my other hero phase ability. So that's it. So hero phase is done. So now we're into the movement phase. I hate everything about this Blight King. Uh, he's terrifying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with Walkers of Hidden Paths. I'm going to pick a friendly unit within three of a train feature, which is going to be my um, boss. I, eh, my boss? Do I do my boss? Yeah, I want to do my boss. Um, and then I'm going to... No, I'm going to do the tree remnants, actually. Move that unit from the battlefield and set it up again more than six from autonomy units, and they can't use again. So, basically, they're just going to take off. Be like, bye. Toodles. And go grab this. Oh, no, I have to be six from the enemy, so I'm going to grab this one. And we'll go over here. Uh, other movements. The boss is going to run. So, they move six. I run 12. So I'm going to go six, and then the six again, over to here. 
and say goodbye. <laughs> objective no longer matters to me. Uh, and then I'm going to start moving my tree lord, who is just outside of three, so he doesn't really move. Uh, I will move my... Uh, do I want to move these guys? No, they're fine where they are. I'm just going to start shooting. Oh, I guess I can move them slightly. I'll walk them around slightly, just so that we're touching an objective. And we'll shoot some guns! Oh, I'm sorry, I missed sorry. the trigger. What's your trigger? Uh, it was, it's a hero, I thought it was a combat phase ability. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna give these guys strike first for the turn. Oh, uh, during the hero phase? Yeah. Okay, so they're gonna yeah. strike first, got it. Yeah, sorry. Um, then I am going to start shooting some guns. Yeah. Uh, and I'm gonna start shooting some guns with my tree lord, who has uh, massive sweeping talons and also strangle roots. So we're gonna do strangle roots first. So he's gonna shoot some technically hands over into these guys. Uh, and those technically hands have three shots on threes, Wounding on twos, round one, two damage. So, they hit twice. Uh, they wound on two plus. They wound twice. It is a rend of one. So this will be fours. Four plus saves. Ping, ping. Laugh. Then we're gonna do some Kurnathi Hunters. Uh, they have six attacks. Uh, hitting on threes, wounding on threes, round one, two damage. So, six more shots. Threes, and then threes again. Uh, oh, five no. at minus one. At minus one, so four. Again. Oh, these guys have a five up ward. There you go. I, uh, I missed that. That's okay. Right. You can make it against these two wins yeah. afterwards. Right. Uh, so, so nothing. So just make two more and we'll see if this damage actually went through. Uh, okay. So it's a seven. The first two, I you made. You failed anyway. Yeah, I failed anyway. Okay. And then I these failed five. all five of those, which is <laughs> 10 damage? Uh, 10 damage, yeah. So 10 yeah. saves. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Didn't want, didn't want didn't this want unit that. alive anyway. <laughs> they have a uh, lot of wounds, man. I made two. So you have eight, so that's ten total, which would be three guys and a wound on somebody. Uh, which is four, right? Mm -hmm. So, sorry, three, six, six nine, seven, eight, nine. How yep. many did? Three, six, seven, eight. So one more damage. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah, if I'd done one more, that would have killed him. Okay, so that was them's guys uh, shooting. I think that's all my shooty guns. So now we charge, and we're gonna charge with the Tree Lord, mm -hmm. because he loves to charge. Uh, he's gonna roll his 2d6, and go six, which is fine, which is what we need. So we're just gonna make sure our bomb is still within three of this, uh, which hopefully we can do. Going that way? I don't think I can actually. No, I can't go a half inch. Yeah, yeah I, half inch. Half I can't do it. I killed too hard. Uh, and you strike first. But I have a ground shaker ability, um, which allows me to. You know what? I'm going to charge my branch wraith too. Okay. Just in case. Just in case I can get one there. Eight will not make it. No, eight's not. It's too far. Uh, so I'm going to do my ground shaker now on a four plus. Uh, strike last on the affected target within an inch. So it'll cancel out and we'll just go yep. back to normal activations. I did not ground shaker you, so you get to fight okay. me first. Well, I wish I had more attacks. However. <laughs> it was it was significantly more dangerous a moment ago. It was. Uh, oh. Oh, geez. Okay. They're, they're scared. They're a little shook. Yeah, they're a little shook by what happened. Uh, they did two wounds. Two wounds, though. Minus. Minus one. Okay, so three plus armor. I'll pass one, fail one, so I'll take a wound. So I go from 14 down to 13. That'll, that'll last through that'll learn phase, I bet. <laughs> uh, 12 down to one. Uh, and then he's gonna commit the ultra violence. So he's got five attacks with his sweeping blow. They hit on fours. They wound on twos. Uh, wounds, this is round one, two damage. Four plus. It's so another two five up wards. Two five up wards. Like one, fill one, like so guy dies. And then it's the massive impaling talent has two attacks, hitting on fours. And then wounding on twos. These are rent two. So fives. Nope. And then they're three damage each, so that's six damage. So right. six five up wounds. Just, just need to roll more saves than I've rolled so far this game. Do it! Uh, you did? I did. Oh my god, he I lives with two. one! He lives with one! Wow. That's incredible. Take that. You did it. Bugman is. You did it. Bugman lives. You did it. All right, so then it is down to uh, your 
Yep. Your um, your uh, end of turn abilities because yep. I don't have any, so it's your okay. shield. Because uh, I can't I can't jump away because I'm not within three of this turn feature. Yeah. This doesn't indicate that a six is always successful, so. I think I, I don't think he gets to do it. Because you can't roll higher than my Oh, you know, it doesn't say yeah. a six always succeeds. No. So you can't roll higher than my health stat, so I just don't think it won't. You yeah. try and you try and hit me with your fly arm, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't. And the tree just laughs yeah. at you. Nope. Um, okay, so then uh, we're gonna go into scoring. So I'm going to flip this one. So I will hold one, I will hold two, I will hold more, I will also hold the bonus uh, Akshi objective for yep. four. Um, I am going to score raise. Uh, you can move this battle tactic at the end of your turn if there's any friendly units within three of a long battlefield edge in enemy territory. So that's going to be five. Um, and then I'm going to score hold ground. You can move this battle tactic at the end of your turn if there's more friendly models contesting the large train feature in your territory mm -hmm. than there are enemy models contesting it. So I'm going to go to six. So I'll score six to the end of the turn. And we're into the second battle round. All right, so we are into round two, uh, and that means we are rolling initiative to see who is going first in the second battle round. I got a four. And your so choice. I'm going to give it to you because I don't want to not fill up my hand. So you can have the initiative. We'll maintain order, and we will fill up. Oh, sorry. First, we do twists. Uh, and you are currently the underdog. Read then smoke. The underdog picks one objective on the battlefield. If there's no underdog, the players roll off. This objective is read then smoke until the end of the battle round. Only unmodified hit rolls of six will do damage, regardless of the attack stats. Hmm. So you can pick one objective to make super duper defensible. Yeah. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, let's do... Let's read this one in smoke. Okay, let's grab a smoke marker, and that's our twist for the round. All right. Twist marker. All right, so twist marker is out, and you have the initiative, which means we will refill our hands and show them off. So here's my hand for the turn. My battle tactics. Come on, there I we go. I need to decide if I'm getting rid of this one or not. I think I am. It's a really good card, but I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> okay. And I'll throw it over to you so you can show the camera. All right. Just give him a second to get in there after the lighting. There you go. The lighting's going to adjust. Yeah, you're good. You, reading you saw. them all on the monitor. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I see what you're doing. I see what I you're I can't doing. read that far away. You have no idea. Uh, let's... You are, you're, giving me, you're giving my eyes way too much credit, man. <laughs> all right. We have, we have a concept of a plan. The <laughs> concept of a plan? It's perfect. <laughs> it's the best kind of plan as far as I know. Um, remember, in one more turn, you're going to get another unit of Plague Bearers and another Blight King. Yeah. All right. So these guys can't do that hop, skip, and a jump thing anymore. They're nope, they can do it sort of any of my movement phases. Any of your movement phases. Yeah, any of my units can. Oh, good. Yeah. Anyway, that was my, that was my regimental ability is Walkers with Hidden Paths. Pick a friendly unit that's within three of any terrain feature and not in combat. So I'm in combat, I can't do it, but I can do the strike and fade at the end of any turn right. when, when I fight. If I make a fight action. This warband is super fun. <laughs> They're very jumpy. <laughs> All right. Uh, so command phase, I'm going to give these guys plus one attack. I don't think it's really going to matter this round. but You want them to fight better? Uh, that guy gets to heal D3. He sure does. It's one. one. So he's going to... One. He's got one damage on him. Yep. Uh, and then... I will do some movement phase, unless you have anything. Can you can you heal that and in? No, nope, that's only it's all it's all, it's all my hero phase. Yeah. Okay, so let's do some movement. Uh, we're gonna move this. Guy. Uh, oh. Do I want to do that? I, don't know. I do have a thing I could do. No, I think I'm just gonna let it be. Go okay. for it. All right, we're gonna do a run with these Plague Bearers. Gotcha. One extra inch, not, so they get to go five. Yep, not, not what they needed there. <laughs> I need you guys to get a little, get a little faster here. I just, I just, I just, just didn't it. quite make it, yeah. They're not gonna Maybe make the it. boss can make it. Maybe, if these guys get out of the way. Although I need somebody to guard this, so. You string them out? Yeah. They are, they are a five man unit, which means they can still string out, right? They don't have to yeah. have two models within a half inch, they only have to have one for their ranks. So we're just going to daisy chain that way. Sweet. And then we'll try the boss. He's going he's gonna to do a run. Get a boss. 
He needs. That's not enough. <laughs> he's is he four or is he five? He's I think he four. goes five. Uh, no, he's still four too. Yeah. yeah oh, he's, geez. Still play bear. Also, he's got a giant growth, so I guess that also slows him down. His, his talking goiter. Be, be nice. His goiter mouth. Be nice yeah. to his mouth. Whatever that trunk thing is he's got going on. Uh, this turn already fell apart with those two rolls. Okay, this guy. You got a bug that can do it. The fly can go do it. He could get there, but he needs to go kill her. This is the most exposed he he's going to be her, the yes. whole game. Yep, this is true. Uh, so he's going to fly eight to just outside of three of her. Okay. because I'm not going to get another crack at her. No, nope, she's going to uh, run away otherwise. Yep. And then I'm going to go to my shooting phase. Unless you've got something to do in movement. Unfortunately, I don't. I was really hoping I would have something that would help me here, but I don't really. So it's going to be back to you. Okay. Uh, we're going to do a... Um, we're gonna do shooting is done. Uh, charge. Okay, so just charge my end. Who's charging? Uh, we're, we're gonna charge the, the big guy. Go get him. You're gonna go get her. Go fly in. Six. It'll do. Hoik. Away you go. Uh, do you impact it? I think you do. He does. Um, so, in any charge phase, I can roll on a two plus. You take D3 mortal damage. I don't want that. You don't want that. No, okay. I don't want that. But I do. It's two. two. All right. So she has no ward save. Uh, she has five wounds, which means she has three remaining. Okay. Not good for Skeeter. Okay. Uh, next up. Next up is the start of combat phase. Yeah. Do you have any start of combat phase abilities you need to unlock? Do I? I do not. <laughs> I do. I stomp. I stomp at thee. Yes, I do. So you will have Strike Last on that little Blight King. Well, I wasn't going to go with him first anyway. I didn't think you were going to, uh, but, you know, <laughs> things happen. We're going to uh, we're gonna just jump right ahead to this Puscoil Blight Lord. I thought you might. Because it's fun to say. It is fun to say. Uh, so, I've got three attacks. Threes and threes. Okay, I'm going to reaction. Opponent okay. declared an attack ability at me. Steel defense, ignore your rend. Okay, turn. rend, whatever. He's rend two, but this way I at least get my five plus yep. save. Yep. I, yep. I don't just instantly die if you hit me. All right, so... Which was exactly... I mean, I'm, I'm probably still going to instantly die, but slightly less instantly threes die. And threes and uh, threes. Two hits. And threes. And one wound. Okay, so I got a five of armor save here. Oh, jeez. Again. No. Nope. Yep. Okay, and then... I'm going to own oh, one of those was a 60. And then my lovely. Is it damage bug. two? Uh, no, that's damage one. Okay, so uh, two health this off. Is four, fours and twos. Okay. This thing is also super dangerous. Uh, ah, six for a uh, six, blight point. So I'm up to two blight points. And twos on these. Three, Three more. Ugh. So five plus. And these are damage two or damage one? Damage one. Okay, I gotta make two of these to live. You can do it. No, I'm dead. Yay. Down she goes. Destroyed. Now the rest uh, of my kills matter. And, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I still as I still always heal one if I'm within three of a train feature. Okay. I have ley lines at the very least. Very good. Uh, um, you can blow that guy up. I'm going to. That'll make me feel better. Come on, Tree Lord. He's going to punch a size your face uh, with the many punchings. So that's going to be on uh, fours. He will hit you. And not hit you at all. Uh, sorry, I have two more attacks, sweeping blows. One hit, and then a two to wound. I wound. Uh, it's run one. Four. Nope. It's two damage. That'll do. Roll a five. Oh, eight. You have five plus wards. Nope. No, he's dead. <laughs> uh, and I cannot strike and fade because I'm too close to the edge of things. Any end of turn abilities for you? Uh, I do not. Okay, so then we are on to turn to bottom of. And I gotta figure out how I'm gonna. Oh, sorry, scoring for you. Yeah, scoring. Uh, you're going to hold one, hold two. Uh, let's see. I'm going to not get that one. I'm going to. Do I want to do that one? Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna do raid. Okay. I do have a raid? Uh, sorry. Friendly unit wholly <laughs> within enemy territory and not in combat. You sure do. So that's going to be three. That's going to be three. And I do hold the Ignex Dias. You do for four. For four. Okay. So I'm going to go to nine. up to nine. Oh, I put it over there because. Of course we did. Good at stuff. 
All right, then it is my turn too. So hero phase, uh, I will heal. Sorry, once we're at the end of any turn, I heal uh, people within three, but I, I didn't have that go off because he's not close enough. Um, so then hero phase, I don't have any hero stuff to do because my hero is dead. You've killed my hero. There goes my hero. Watch them as they go. Uh, so we're in a movement. Um, I choose to move some tree men. That one's going to go and touch this. These ones are just going to dip around like meow. Uh, big Johnny Apple Tree is going to go over here and bring the proverbial ruckus. Uh, then, do I wish to teleport? Do I wish to enter the teleporta? I guess I can, but I don't need to, so I'm not going to. <laughs> um, sorry, I might be a little bit too close there, but that's okay. There we go. Uh, so that's my movement phase done. Let's shoot some guns. I'm going to start with my... Oh, I, I, I do have... Oh, sorry, uh, a reaction? End, end, end of your movement phase. Yes. Uh, I'm going to call reinforcements. Heck yeah. And pick a unit with five or more models. D3 of them D3 redeploy, them nice. not within six. And I think it's in your territory. So two. two? Yes, they are... Anywhere on the battlefield, nice. more than six. Perfect. Anywhere you want. Uh, where do they want to go? I think... They want to go over here. More than six from these guys. Perfect. Yeah. Might as well have the wall. So then, uh, we're going to start shooting again. <laughs> uh, and we're going to shoot into those Blight Kings now, because why not? Six shots from the big bows on the Chronoth Hunters. And we're going to hit on threes, I believe. But the cover will give them. Um, is it my one to hit for cover? Yeah. Okay, I so then on fours. Think so. Should I double check that? It's been... I believe it is my one to hit now, not yeah. plus one armor save. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then three wounds. One, two, three at minus one. So fours. So that's going to be four damage. And you get your five ward again. This is the turn. Uh, two. Take two. Got one left. And then I'm going to strangle root into your big king on the, on the big bug. So let's take a shot at him. It's going to be three shots on threes. And then I wound on twos. Uh, two at rend minus one. Fives. Nope. Take two. He's got six left. Uh, and ward. Oh, that's right. Ward save. No. Oh. <laughs> Why would I get left. that? <laughs> you got it last time. I get your big, big dice. There you go. Six. All right. Oh, so, it's how much damage they have? It's how much damage they have on them. Yeah. We need to. No, oh, I should. I should be marking it that way. Shouldn't I? Yeah. It's how much damage they're carrying. Um, okay. So then I need to make some charges if I'm gonna, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna go over here. Uh, and we're gonna go with the big guy. He sure does make it three. Mm -hmm. To within a half. He made it awkward, but he made it. He made it awkward, but he made it. That's right, yeah. Uh, then we're going to do the Colonel They're going to go eight, and they're going to go take you. Heck yeah. My distraction worked, sort of. <laughs> I did. Good job. Uh, and then we're going to start punching. Um, and I'm going to start with... The big uh, tree, I believe, because the big tree punches very hard. Oh, sorry, start to turn uh, on a four plus. He makes you strike last anyway. Yeah. Does it happen? No, he doesn't. Okay. But I'll start with him no matter what. Uh, so he has his sweeping blows, five attacks. Uh, anything you like to play in response to this? Uh, nothing up my sleeves. Nothing up my sleeves. Okay. So we're hitting on threes, four. Sorry. Uh, one, two, three, four hits. Yikes. And we went on twos. That's going to be three at minus one. All right, three fives. Three fives. One. So four damage. Four more shrugs. Four damage. Oh. So he's got six on him. Jeez. Yep. And then it's massive impaling talent time on fours. I missed completely. Hey. So now you get to pick a unit to fight with. Well, he's safe, so we'll pile in with these lads. Okay. And we'll get our attacks in with them before they... Okay, you're only hitting on sixes, though. Ah, I'm yes. I'm contesting that objective. The smoky... The smoky smoke of... That's right. The actionness of it all. I did that to me. You did that to you, yeah. That's why I was like, I can safely do this. All the sixes. 
Uh, none of the none sixes. Of the sixes. Okay. I, so I, I really just wanted to, to generate <laughs> to roll some play dice, points, but uh, <laughs> didn't happen. Didn't, so didn't work. I will viciously talent you then. Okay. Um, on threes, because it doesn't affect me. It just affects the being targeted. Wreath in smoke until the end of the battle round. Only unmodified hit rolls of six successfully hit for attacks that target a contestant as objective. Yep. Yeah. So it's me coming out of the shadows on threes. Uh, and then threes to wounds. No rent here though. Just gonna try and kill a guy. I uh, got three. So three, no rent. Yep. Threes. One. Oh my god, okay. And then fives. One damage each. Okay, yeah, one damage each. Nope. So carrying a wound and another guy dies. We'll leave, oh, we'll leave the shield guy left. Gotcha. The last man standing. I will try to roll a six to deal a damage to you. Oh no, wait, I still have- You still have your coming. big guy to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah big guy gets He fight. gets to do stuff. He does, because he lived. All right, we're gonna- like Couldn't impaling tell you. We're gonna swing our blighted scythe at you. Uh, hit you twice. twice. No sixes. We're gonna wound you on threes. Two, two wounds at rand two. So my three plus armor becomes a five plus armor. Fail, fail, how much damage? Uh, one each. Okay, so I'm gonna go down to, or up to three wounds. And then your big stabby tail. Big stabby tail. Uh, mouth parts and sting. Nice. Mouth parts. Mouth that, parts. Ew, I, don't, I know, mouth parts I don't is like so that feel at all. Ah, uh, two? Two, no sixes. Okay. <laughs> no sixes this round. Awesome. Uh, two wounds, no rend. Okay, so three plus. Pass them both. Uh, end of turn, I will, do you have any end of turn abilities you need to do? You need your shield, but mine go first. So I'm gonna heal a wound from ley lines. Okay. And then, any for you? Uh, yeah, I might as well. I'll, I'll try to shield bash you with a six. Do it. Nope, not today. And I might as well try to do an extra couple of wounds with my plague points on, try to soften these guys up. I think I can actually maybe kill them eventually. And I do one Dude. mortal wound. And technically you get back a play point, don't you? No, no, it's only critical no. hits to do that. It's yeah. only uh, hits so I've got from attacks. Four. Do they have a ward when they're defending? Uh, they do attack? actually get a six plus ward. You're right. Thank you for reminding me. Not that it matters. Almost. Take a wound. Very good. All right. So that is end of round. So I'm going to flip this. Uh, I'm going to hold one, hold two, hold more uh, for three. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, do not waver. You complete this battle tactic at the end of your turn. If any friendly uh, units used a fight ability this turn, we did, and no friendly units were destroyed. They weren't. That was during your turn. Yep. Um, so I'm going to score that one uh, for four. And then War of Attrition, I did not finish this guy off. Um, so I'm not going to get that one because I need to have more friendly units to or more enemy units destroyed than friendly units. And uh, yeah, I have killed you, but that didn't happen. So. We are now into, it looks like, round three. All righty, so it is now initiative roll for round three. Let's see who's going first. Your call. So I could maintain, I really want to fill my battle tax hand again, so I think I'm just going to let this happen and you can have the initiative. Um, so let's flip our twist and see what happens first. It is going to be let the blood flow. Each player scores an extra victory point at the end of the turn for every enemy unit they destroy. Additionally, if you're the underdog, which I believe you are. I am. Uh, sorry, because I scored five this turn, didn't I? No, four this turn, which put me to 10. And you're at nine. Um, uh, you can pick a unit to be frenzied, add one of the combat attacks made by this unit for the battle rounds. So you're plus one to hit on all your combat attacks for one unit. Ooh, I think. I think I gotta pick these guys. Picking the the, the little boys? Cool. Yeah, the plague, I plague bearers? So. I'm into it. Otherwise, my other guys aren't on the table yet. <laughs> okay, so we'll mark them with a unit so that they're frenzied. Yeah, they are frenzied. Uh, and they do arrive at the start of your turn, I believe, don't they? What's yeah. your, what is your uh, arrival ability? Uh, so is your movement phase? Is, yeah, my movement phase. So they're gonna show up during your movement phase. You can't do it right now during the twist part. Yeah. Um, yeah. So then we're into refilling our hands. I'm gonna get two cards here because I'm gonna keep the card I have. I'm gonna take three because I... And that puts me to these. So there's my cards for this round. Come on now, get in focus, there we go. Yeah, there we go. And then Mike can show you his. Okay, oh. And you're good, yep. Okay. You just like come back real fast. <laughs> All right, and then we are into hero phase. Sorry, start turn hero phase, and then it's your movement phase, I believe they show up. Okay. So, hero phase, I'm gonna heal D3. 
with my locus of fecundity. So fecund. So fecund. So very down to five, five. damage. Against. So demure. So fecund. <laughs> uh, and these guys are gonna get frenzied. Yep. Uh, so they're gonna they're gonna do that, and I think that is. Oh, you mean you're you're tallying an attack? Oh, sorry, I am. I am. Italian attack. Sorry, yeah, yes. Yeah. They they're already frenzied. Now I'm going to tally of blows so they on have them as well. Two attacks each, and the plus one hit right now. Yes, sweet. Yes, they are as good as I can possibly make <laughs> plague bearers in this particular. Indeed, yes. Uh, and then we're going to go to my movement phase. Okay, no, I have an enemy hammer phase thing. Oh, I'm going to play stand guard. Um, I'm going to give strike first to my tree man. All right. He is strike it in first. He is striking first this turn. Very good. I am going to start my movement phase by bringing in my reinforcements because we're in the third battle round now. We are. More plague bears arrive. More, more of everything, and it's more than six from enemies. This is a problem because I haven't killed anything yet. <laughs> You've killed something. I haven't. Well, sorry. I guess I have technically, but then they came back because yeah. you pulled reinforcement, which is a huge card for you. That was that was a big one. The Blight Kings and Reinforcement are, the fact that you have five Blight Kings, because a lot of those like big heavy hitting units are only in threes, they don't get access to Reinforcements, whereas you do, which is massive. Yeah. Well, and I had Fall Back and Rally in my hand, Yeah. I couldn't have moved four inches and not right, been right. in combat. I was kind of pinned in the corner. Yeah, you were up against the wall there. Yeah. Uh, so I ditched that card. Uh, we're going to do that. We're going to do... Stealing a button for me over here. Yeah, I'm going to try to... I think this guy might just go try to kill those dudes, actually. Kill some uh, kill some revenants? That's one does. No, oh, too close to them. Too close to them. You're too close, man. You're too close. So you have to be there. Boss is going to go try to take... Well, boss is going to go take that one. Oh, but he wants to... He can just walk now, yeah. Yeah. But he wants to sneeze on you. But he wants to sneeze on you. He wants to sneeze so bad. I got that objective. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna go with that. This okay. guy's just gonna chill, for obvious reasons. These guys are gonna move their four inches towards you, so three inch barrier is gonna yep. be Sense the three. limiting factor. Ready to freak out with mortal wounds? This guy, let's see, he is move four. He's not gonna take the objective. Well, it's a choice because I could shoot you if I didn't. It's true, but I think he'll take the button instead. Take the button instead. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to go to, uh, do you have any movement phase ability? Uh, I do not have any movement phase ability this turn. Nope. Very good. I do not. I spent those last turn, I believe. So we're going to go to, um, shooting nothing. Okay. No guns. Charge phase. Charge phase is a charge. Feels relevant. And who's charging? Uh, we're gonna do the big, big, guy the big king. The big king first. Get him, short king. Get him. Seven. Seven. Should be good. Yep. That's that's Nurgle's number. Six. Rap. Just goes jumps in. Just go jump in. And while we're in the charge phase, he's gonna do his impact hits. Impact hits. No one else is charging. Uh, no, they are, they are. But oh, it's immediately after you complete the charge. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Two plus. Two plus. He does. Three mortals. Take one. one mortal wound. They have a wound on them. Ow, right in the revenant. And let's see if we can roll a three for the plague bearers. We can. Sure did. Into the hunters they go. Into the hunters they go. What's the uh, objective control on hunters? Uh, they are just one, two, actually, sorry. They are two? Okay. Yeah, two. So I gotta, gotta actually pull some down to get this to work. Although one of them isn't on the objective. But. This is true. Okay. Uh, let's go with the, to the combat phase. You have strike first. I do, which means I'm going with my tree lord and he's going to try and kill this blight king that we've Three's been trying to kill for a while now. So hitting on fours with my big talons. I'm going to hit you one, two, three times and I'm going to wound on twos. And you're going to make three saves at minus one. Fives. That is four damage. Four damage. You got to pass two of these. Fives. He does not. Down he goes. I always like to save you rolling the other yeah. half of your... <laughs> I would have technically stopped you at the start of the phase two and you would have yeah. striking last, which I completely forgot about, which is why I should have put that card on them. Because I could also... I could have made you strike last and then it wouldn't have mattered either way. Uh, back to you. Oh, sorry, now we're into the you pick because yeah, it's your turn. Yeah. You're so player. I'm going to go with these fellas. Okay. I'm uh, um, sorry, I do have a sort of combat feasibility you have to do. I'm okay. going to marshal memory these guys. They okay. want to have uh, memories of peace, 
which means plus one of their saves. Very good. Uh, I'm going to take my 10 dice here, and I am going to make my... You all mortal wounds? My all mortal wounds attack. So this is a three used to hit because of the frenzy. That's right. They're jacked up. They're mad. They're so angry. So I'm going to roll two. You're going to get a blight point. So you get a plague point for that too. One plague point. Ooh. One's good. One's better than zero. One is, is slightly... It's more than I got last turn. Absolutely. Uh, all right. And then we're going to do... Um, oh, sorry. So the one six was a mortal wound. because It was. Yep. Mortal. Yeah. So you take one dice over there. So I'll take one out of this. And they are on threes. So two. Oh my god. Uh, so how many was that? Two. Two? So one mortal and then two. You okay. get a six one, up. One mortal and then two, uh, two armor, saves. armor saves. So on yeah. fours. And then my six aboard. And then my other six aboard for the mortal wounds. No. So I'm going to take two wounds, which puts me at three total damage on them. Yep. Fear me. Fear me, for I am plague. Call me the plague. <laughs> That's a hacker's reference for all you guys born in the 90s. Um, so then, or I guess alive in the 90s. So now I got to pick someone to fight with. Uh, I have them and him. I don't think he can kill one. So I think we're going to go over here and do the, uh, the tree revenants. Just try and get some damage on this guy. Two attacks each, threes and fours. Rend one, one damage. That's 10 attacks total. Hitting on threes. But we got weak little elf arms. So we're only wounding on fours. Forced wounds. Uh, one, two, three, four at run one. So we're on fives. None. And then on and fives. Five. Again. Oh my god, I half healthed you. That's insane. Wow. <laughs> we're the angriest tree spirits. It's because we're fight we're it's because we're so mad because we're so flammable. There's like a ticking clock where we're just gonna burst into flames. You gotta get this done and get the hell out of here. Might as well do my remaining putrid blight king. Yep. Hit on threes. There you go, he's three mad. No sixes. And then three again. again. So that's three at round one. Round one, so I get five of armor. Uh, and then I get six up board. Oh, you're going to kill a guy. And I take two, so that just kills a guy and leaves no damage on the unit. I got one. Ugh. All right, well, they'll fight back. They're going to put all six of their attacks into that Blight King because we want him dead because we hate him so much. That looks like one, two, three. Uh, four actually, because they hit on threes, and then threes again. Uh, one, two. Can't kill you. Uh, three plus. Laughs. Laughs. Laughs in Blight King. Uh, this fella. He yes, got again. His three attacks. He sure does. He's a rent two. Threes. Oh my god. Threes. Uh, so two, rent two. Two, rent two. So my five up or six becomes a four up, goes back to a six up. Don't die. I made one. How much damage is that? Uh, just one each. One each, so two damage. So two damage. And got three damage total. Six. Hey, I rolled six. And there's two plague points. Goes up to three plague points. And two. Four. So no rent. Four more. Uh, no rent, so four plus. Uh, fill one. So four damage total. So two guys are going to die here. Uh, you and you. And damage resets. Damage resets. And all my fighters have fought. Fighters have fought. Uh, so have mine. So okay. I think we're all good. End of turn. End of turn. Any end of turn abilities for you? Uh, oh, wait. Sorry. I've got my shield bash on a six. You do it on a six. Yeah. Yes. You did. Did a wound. I did one. Ow. And I might off. as well spend my plague points on them. I got three. I'm just going to roll three four pluses here. Do two oh. more mortals. Nice. They've got three on them total. All right. Any other end of turns? Uh, I do not have any more end of turns. All right. So mine uh, I'm going to use first is going to be the walk the hidden paths and get the hell out of here. So we're, these guys are going to, on a two plus, jump away. They do. Uh, and they're going to jump over onto this objective, which they have to be within three of, but not be within six of you. So we can... Stand there and stand there. Uh, and then we're going to do ley lines, so they heal one, because they're still within three of that terrain feature. Uh, and I think that's all my end turn stuff. So we right. are scoring. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to flip this one, because I grabbed it by jumping away. Yeah. Uh, you're going to flip, I think, this one. I yeah, am he's one each. He's only a two. Oh, OK. I, I still hold that one, one then. But I you do will flip, flip this one, though. This yeah. one, I do flip this one. And I do flip this one. Yeah. So you're going to hold one, hold two, hold more. 
Hold one, hold two, hold more. I'm going to take without warning because I gained control of one of nice. my objectives so and four. did not use a fight. Yep. Um, I am going to raise by having a unit within three of your long edge. You sure did. And I have the Dracothian Deus in the middle. So that's a big old six point turn. Damn, damn. Okay, well, six points to you. I did not destroy any units for the Axie Twist, though. Oh, and you get one for the Axie Twist, I believe. Okay, uh, because I destroyed enemy unit. That's right. Yeah. Um, so, I, well, I get that during my turn, don't I? I think you're... Uh, each player goes my turn until the end of their turn. Oh, okay. It has to be that turn. So okay. I didn't destroy during my turn, so I get nothing. All right. So then it is my turn three. Your three. All right. Well, let's start with, I guess, guns. Moving hero phase, hero phase. Let's do hero phase. So, starting with hero phase, uh, or, uh, I don't think I have anything to do because I don't have a hero. Um, so, then we're going to go on to the movement phase and we're going to start with this guy. And he's going to walk. Oh, wait, I could just jump. I could just jump outside of six of you, which I will do because I'm within three. I'm not in combat with the enemy. So, I'm going to jump over here and just stay outside of six. Like, what's up, nerd? <laughs> um, then. <laughs> He's, he's fine. I he's think fine. my Kurnafi are just going to advance menacingly towards you, <laughs> being angry of everything that you did there. Uh, then I'm going to shoot. I'm going to start shooting some bows into that Blight King, because we hate some forever. And that will be... Oh no, do I want to fall back my... Why do I want to fall back my True Revenants? I think I'm going to fall back my True Revenants as well. Okay. I'll take D3 damage. So I think two, so it kills a guy, but that's still two guys, which is enough to keep me alive. Like so. Because I just need to hold that this turn and not die. <laughs> uh, and I don't really care about killing you or not. So I'm going to start with uh, Tree Lords. Uh, he is going to take some shots into your Scrivener, because we don't like the way he's scribbling. His scribbling's annoying, so that's going to be on fours. Oh. They all hit, or so on threes actually. And then on twos. Two at rend minus one. So sixes. Nope. Uh, you have two a ward. Yeah, two damage each, yeah. So fives. Uh, I made three of them. Nice. So one. It's just one. I'm, I'm at least going to make you charge me. You are. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to shoot all my bows into this big Blight King over here. So four shots. And these fellas? One of those fellas, yep. From the, uh, the Kurnathi Hunters just all the way downtown into him. Yep. And I'll be on threes again. All hit. Yikes. And then threes again. Two wounds at minus one. Fives. No. Oh. So four ward saves. I need to make one Gotta of these. Gotta make one to live. <laughs> Got to make one of his last 12 saves on a five. Hey, he did. I made two. We got two left. So he's at six. He lives. He lives, he laughs, he loves. Uh, and then I think I'm not going to get that one. And you're currently at 15? Yep. Holy crap. Uh, I need to kill you bad. So we're going to charge the true man first over here. Of course we are, and go nine, and that's more than enough. Uh, and then I don't think there's much else I can do here. I could charge your Blight King, but I don't want to. <laughs> um, I'd rather just stand there and shoot him instead. And I might. It's the last round soon. I think that's all I can do. Yep, I think that's all I can do. So we're just gonna go to fight. Uh, I'm going to stomp your boss on a four. I don't. And then do you have any sort of combat abilities? I don't. Then I'm going to punch a size his face with my sweeping blows on fours. Uh, okay, oh, I have bad okay. news. How about and no then, missing? And then how about no missing and then twos. Uh, make five saves at minus one. All right, just five sixes here. <laughs> just five sixes, you'll be fine. Just five sixes. I'm going to pop a scale like a zit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so 10 damage. All right, that's easy. <laughs> that's easy. Just 10 fives. Just 10 fives. You'll be fine. Just 10 fives. Uh, uh, that's bye. not nearly enough. No. So he, he it ceases to exist for yes. a bunch of reasons. Yes. Uh, and then we're in the turn. So I'm going to heal him. I'm going to heal them. I'm going to flip this. 
Uh, that stays yours. That stays mine. Uh, so we are going to, you have any end of turn? I do not. Okay, so we're gonna, oh, I could, I did a fight ability, but I don't want to leave. So I'm not gonna strike and fade. Uh, so I'm just going to hold one, hold two, hold more, and then I'm gonna hold the Ignax Deus. And this is a 1450 at the end of the round. Ugh, so close, uh, but I'm now the underdog. Plus one for killing. Oh, I killed the unit, so 1515, we're tied. Tied it up, 1515, tied it up. that's right, because I killed the unit. I, I didn't quite kill him. I was hoping I could kill two. So that's it, end of round three, beginning round four. All right, so we are going into round four. This is the final turn of the game, and probably the most important initiative roll. Let's see who's going first. Oh, it's no, your choice. I keep giving up double rounds, but I need the cards. So I'll let you maintain initiative. All right. I'm going to grab uh, my last two cards. Ah, you know what? I think I'm actually going to, Discard. I'm going to straight up ditch this card okay. because I don't think I can score it. And I'd rather, oh yeah, sorry. And, and yeah, twist. Those are twists for the turn. Ring of fire. Ooh, this is, this is going to be a roll off. Because okay. Because we're got. tied up. Yep. yep. Uh, so we pick one objective. Uh, we'll have to roll off. That objective is no longer controlled by either player. Oh, interesting. It can't be scored. Cannot be contested mm. or controlled. And uh, That's you huge. take D three mortal wounds. If you're so, on it, yeah, yeah. Now that I've got first turn, if you pick, if if I win this roll, I could just pick this one and you I'll could. take D three before yep. they get to move. That's right. Uh, oh. I, I don't think you win the roll though. So I'm gonna pick this one over here. Okay. It's not controlled by anybody. Can't be controlled by anybody, and it's gonna hurt your. Plague birds if they don't leave. Well, I guess they're going to leave. Okay. Uh, because that's going to be to the end of the game anyway, so it's really not going to matter. True. Yeah, that's uh, true. All right. So, my turn. Top of four. Uh, and I have to look at my cards real fast. Oh, yeah. So, we'll do some of that too. stuff. I find out what I'm trying to do. This see, see what we're actually doing here. Uh, that wasn't that wasn't the best choice, but I had to make that choice before I actually looked at these. So, it's a good thing I didn't look at these beforehand because I kind of screwed myself there, but that's okay. Mm, and I can't do that one either. That's really funny. That's unfortunate. I can't. Yeah, I've I've literally locked myself out of an entire card by the the, the pick I just made. Yeah. No, I have as well. Ugh. Ugh. That's okay. Wait, well, that's, wait. that's why you're not supposed to draw these cards beforehand. Do you want to show your cards here? Yeah. 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 Let's do that. Yeah. I I can't I, I, I can't use has, that card at all. Probably the same card you had. Yeah. I bet, I, I, bet, I bet it's that one. <laughs> I bet. Well, we we both know which one it is. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So and we're tied. So this is gonna be real close. Okay. All righty. Uh, hero phase is real fast when... Neither of us have heroes. <laughs> almost the only units dead in the game. Are the, the yeah. only units fully dead yeah. are one Puscoil and the heroes. One short king and one hero. Uh, might as well run with these lads. I don't think they can get anywhere, even if I roll a six, but they're definitely... We're damn well going to well, try. They can, they can charge, because it's, it's, a, it's a 2d6 charge. I might as well give them the opportunity. To walk the four? To walk the four, because they're not gonna get anywhere on a six no but they can come out and maybe maybe participate on a maybe on a six. participate maybe just not take wounds from being on an active volcano and be like later yeah they don't they don't want <laughs> yeah, that. standing in the active volcano that's painted on their bases too which is very funny which is yeah yeah ironically i can't believe it's still black king alive they're so hard to shift getting that uh getting that timely like not scoring it and getting the reinforcements card was perfect for them. Such a good unit to use it on too, because they're just so tough. They are. Now if these guys go four. Is there an in line of sight requirement for charging? Nope. I don't think so. You just roll. Okay. I think I'm gonna try to come around because I can take this objective from you. Hell yeah. You. Do I need that objective? I do. I need I need to actually take these objectives if I'm gonna get a score back. If I'm gonna get a score back here. Uh, okay, and they lost their their tally of blows because that's until my next turn. Yep. Uh, the shooting phase is real short. Sure is. Because... Nobody oh, has guns. Nobody says... This guy's leave? moving to three inches. Okay, gotcha. Take the objective. Yeah. Gotta, gotta kill one of them to do it, though. They need to die. This is true. Uh, okay. Let's do some charging. I'm gonna start with the Pusco up. Okay. That'll do it. Six Lou. I think this is probably yours this turn. Uh, let's I'm see. A real hard time stopping that guy. So let's uh, let's do our our charge. Impact hits. Does D three. D three. 
Kills Take one. two. Someone gets squished, which means this objective is yours no matter what now. Unless you kill him. Unless I kill him. Let's try for the long bomb. I feel like uh, I feel like these are the high dice. I was eleven. Right. Oh my god, you made it! I think so. you got on the button for sure. Yeah, eight and three. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, hundred percent. You did. That's amazing. Holy crap! That's huge. That's massive. Cool. All right. Now even if you kill him. All right. Now we're gonna do this guy. Uh, he's got an eight. Can he skirt around the edge of the board? I think he fits. He does. So he's gonna go stand on the button and stab you in the back. Oh no! I like hate a, you forever. Like a Nurgle guy do. That's that is a Nurgle guy do thing. And then these fellows are going to joyously roll around the corner. Go after those Kronathi. With another eleven. Oh my god! It's all the dice have lit up. It's happening. This is the turn. We figured it out. We figured it out. All I had to do was roll elevens all the time. <laughs> this is what you saved all your fives and sixes. You didn't make ward saves with right. for. <laughs> it's just ultimate charging me in the last turn. Be uh, be there. Okay. Oh man, I think uh, you're gonna flip all these buttons on I me. Got everybody in combat. So that's good. I've got this guy to finish off. Sure do. Um, okay, so that's the end of my move or charge phase. It is. Uh, nothing in yours, I presume. Nope. So we are on to the the murder. Okay. Uh, this guy, because these guys made it in, even if he kills him, we're kind of okay. Definitely. So we're going to do my attacks. The mortal wounds. I have one thing I could do here. Sorry, before we end the charge phase. Yeah. I'm going to attempt to roll an 11. <laughs> no. Uh, no, I'm not. No, okay. I'm not. I'm not going to do it. Okay. I might I might be able to get something else this way. Okay. Let's, uh, who's got a better chance of actually hurting this? Well, there's one damage on him. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to do the Plague Bearers. Okay. They're going to do their five attacks now on fours. I'm just going to roll a bunch of sixes. You are. You're just going to roll a bunch of sixes. Again. A bunch of sixes. No sixes. Or two, three hits. That's good. Three hits isn't nothing. Uh, they wound on threes. All three. There's the sixes, two play points. Uh, no, it's only oh, it's hits. Only hits. Only hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so three, four pluses. And then a six plus ward, because I'm still contesting. No, take a wound, go to two. Go to two. You can pick a unit to fight. I will. I pick this lone survivor. Sorry, I should have picked um, a memory for him. I'm going to pick the, uh, the Memories of War, plus one hit. Okay. So he's got two attacks on twos. Wounds on fours. Don't quite kill your Blight King. <laughs> Four plus. Run one? No, nah, you're fine. All right. It is run one, yeah, but you're fine. All right, we'll go with the Blight King. Hell yeah. Because I know you hate that guy. Uh, Blight King on threes. It's thrice and gets me one plague point. It sure does. He wounds twice. He sure does. At run one. Okay, twice at run one. So two, I need to roll fives. No, I fill both. And then six plus wards. Nope, take two. So I'm at four. Got one left. The four. All right. Uh, I think that's These two. them fighting now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stab your Blight King. Because why not? Six attacks. Hit on threes. Oh, we're tired. And then wounding on threes. Three wounds, no rend. Threes. Take two. Takes two. No. And then no, five, five up. Five upward. Yep, takes two. Takes two. He's got one left. Damn, almost got him. Almost got him. Uh, I'll let the big guy try to finish him off. Do Three it. Three used to hit. One more plague point. Yeah. And then uh, uh, I, uh, I don't get a three save. Three to wound. I don't get a save. No save. Nope. For Six is not auto pass or anything. Not that mattered. Uh, then how much damage? Uh, just one. Uh, uh, so I do my award now. Nice. Oh, I'm on board. Never mind. I'm not a, I'm not a guy. Okay. Don't worry, I'm not a guy. <laughs> I'm not a guy. Uh, his bug hits thrice. No more plague points. Uh, wounds twice. No, no rend. Fives. Nope, still dead. Down he goes. You've captured it for chaos. And I guess these guys can pile in because they did charge. They did charge. I'm your pile move. Uh, so you are super alive. End of turn abilities. Do you kill a Karnathi hunter oh, by yes. uh, shield bashing? Let's try shield bashing him. I nope. do not. Let's try uh, plaguing him. Two plague points. One of these needs to be a four. No! no. Oh, they All right. failed um, me multiple times against that unit. Strike and fade on them. They do. They're going to set up over here. 
Bye. <laughs> now within six, and then they're gonna heal a wound because they're still within three of that objective marker. Or uh, train feature. Yep. Uh, so that's gonna flip that to me. And that's gonna flip to you. So and that means you'll hold one, hold two. But not more. But not more now. Holds that that's one. right, because the Bayonet Deus is now verboten. I do uh, get to cut off the head because I killed your general in a previous round and destroyed, slit, a, destroyed a unit this yep. round. So I that's going to be one, two, three, uh, and I do have more friendly models contesting this objective than you do. Yep, you have the model touching it. So, yep, that's it. Okay. Uh, so, so that's going to be four. So four total? Okay. So 19. 19. you got to beat four. Got to beat four. Okay. Uh, so then that means top of four. We're gonna get feel a little pinch. All right, I can't use my scroll of arcane bolt. This this card is just dead. So the Bayamat Deus, I can't score with. I can't arcane bolt because I don't have a boss. I'm just gonna throw that away right now. I'm playing for these ones. Um, so all I'm gonna need to do here is start off by moving. Uh, so I'm gonna use this little guy, and he's gonna walk tree lord distances, which is five. Like meow. Uh, oh, sorry, he also healed the full at the end of the turn because he was standing next to the objective or that piece of train. Uh, then I'm going to use reinforcements to bring back in some tree revenants. Uh, they have to be wholly in my territory and not in combat and within six of a board edge. That's not your territory. My territory is, oh, sorry, this is my territory. Right <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> that was my objective a minute ago. It's not now. <laughs> Ash, Ash, that's not your territory. Look, look, I'm allowed three cheatings per game. <laughs> house rules. The house is allowed to cheat three times per game. <laughs> um, so then they've arrived, and do the Karnofi want to move? They'll just, like, shimmy so they can both see that Blight King. They really want him dead. I do kind of super want him dead. Uh, and then we're going to start shooting some guns. So I'm going to start with... Don't want to shoot the Blight He has one wound left. So he makes the most sense to shoot. And therefore, we will shoot him first. And we will shoot him with the Karnopi. He makes the most sense, yeah. So the Karnopi going to fire at him. Ah, actually, no. It makes more sense to shoot him. He has a worse armor save, right? Yeah. Oh, but if they have the same shrug. Yeah, but I have to do two. I have to do one win over here. This makes more sense. Let's do that. Fours. Or sorry, threes rather than hit, rather. Um, and that's going to be two hits. And then I got a wound on threes. Two wounds. So two at minus one to the Blight King. Force. And two damage. You got to make two fives. Two fives here. Nope. Then he goes. Um, and then it's, I don't, I need to charge. Yeah, I need to charge. So we're going to start with the boss, the big guy. Uh, he's going to go nine. That's going to do it. Which is lots. And he just needs to make sure he's on the button. And then we're going to go with the other guys. And they're going to go four and not make it. All right. Well, I got to kill one of these plague bears then. Yep. Oh, I forgot to shoot him. He's going to shoot them as well. Okay. Uh, sorry. He's got his strangle roots that are shooting into the plague bears. Yep. On fours? Yes. And then on two, Sorry, on threes rather. And then on twos. I need to soften them up. One. One at minus one. Minus one. Uh, so straight to the ward. Is it two damage? Uh, two damage. Yeah. Okay. So fives. No. Nope. So, so I kill one. Uh, yes. And then do I stomp these guys start the combat phase? I do. So they will strike last. Not that it matters. I'm I was going to say, anyway. only entered in combat anyway. Yeah, because I didn't get my charge off. Uh, and that means I've got my, my massive impaling, or my sweeping blows, sorry, on fours. One hit. Uh, I will wound on two. I don't wound. And then strangle roots on fours. He's so tired. One hit. And it wounds. So one at minus two, and it's three damage. So three wards. Make one. So the guy dies. And you fight back. And I fight back. With thrice attacks. This many. Two hits. One damage. One damage. Three plus. No, I'm laughing. Uh, so I am control five. Yep. And they so are control three, so I'll flip that one. So I'm going to hold one, hold two, hold more. I'm going to hold the Dracothian Deus for four. I'm going to cut off the head. I killed a unit, and I killed your um, general in a previous battle line, which would be five, so it's 20 to 19 at the end of the game. This Holy photo that finish. That's crazy. Oh, 
What a photo finish. Well, I still had him as a backup to shoot the Blake King with. Yeah. Right, so I had two, two chances to kill him there, but that was a, uh, a super photo finish. And we both walked out of the bam at Deus I know. for the twist at the end of the turn, which was crazy. Yeah. All right, so there we go. 20 to 19 at the end of the game. Sylvaneth squeaking out a win, uh, although we were running at guys real fast. Yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> That's when it, it's funny because when they start to fold, they really start to fold. When you doubled up on having another Blight King and also yeah. having, um, or Blight Lord, sorry, Pusco Blight Lord, and having uh, five more of those. Um, the damage output's low, but the survivability's high on the uh, the Plague Bearers. Yeah, and there, there are so many, like, single moments because I was so close to killing one Kurnoth Hunter in the first round. Yep. And that changes the game yeah, i yeah. think that heal absolutely the yeah. one with one wound left yeah come back to fully healed yeah. and then they walked across the table and survived for the entire game yeah. by jumping around yeah it, getting them pinned down is so hard you have to get two units in combat because as soon as two units in combat only one can leave with second yeah. fade right so like you did it exactly right where you're like okay well now i'm going to send a blight lord over here but i'm also going to send the plague bearers over here and i gotta make a choice as to who's going to like get away yeah um and also hugging the side with the blight kings meant that my my tree lord couldn't jump out after that first fight. Yeah. So he almost killed them all, but he couldn't leave because he was already, he was basically four inches away from that, that yeah. table. Yeah, although pinning myself in the corner, I had the fallback and rally card in my hand, and I ended up discarding it, whereas if I had oh. been to the outside, I could have fallen back and got yep. D3 guys back. Yeah, yeah. Or no. Got it's on five. So on five. You roll yeah. dice for each model, and on five plus they come back. Yeah, and then I still could have redeployed them because they hadn't been, re like... So just being pinned in the corner, that, that's a casualty selection. I, I picked yeah. the cool model to live. And also, I, well, I think what that's, and you guys will hear about this in Spear Tips, which is our faction guides for Spearhead. Um, we're doing the first two episodes of Spear Tips where we're going to be doing these two factions, Sylvaneth and um, and the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, the... The Bleak Nurgle, Coast. The Bleak Coast, that's what I call it. I couldn't remember, the, I couldn't remember their <laughs> sub name. Um, and so some big keys for that are going to be like, what are your... Definitely hold these in your hand. Tactics cards, which you use today, yeah. which is hold on to that reinforcement card for the Blight Kings, because yeah. that's enormous. Yeah. It means you can shove them right down your opponent's throat and then bring back D3 of them and all of a sudden have that unit just survivably sitting on an objective at the back. And they're scary. No matter how many are left, they're scary. Yeah. Like one or two being alive. So there it is. Another game of Spearheads uh, throwing down and congratulations on painting your army. It looks fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Great job. If you want to check out the um, comic book style painting stuff, check out uh, Mike at Epic Deck Studios because that's where you learned all those style tips. Yep. Thanks for doing that. Um, and we'll see you for more Spearheads and Spear Tips in the future. Let them ash.